Hi and welcome to this Meraki Minutes video. In this video we are going to show how it is possible to sync Trustec policies of Cisco Eyes with our adaptive policy component in Cisco Meraki. Sharing common policies across different domains, products and organization is crucial to achieve an effective segmentation of your network. This integration comes with Eyes 3.3, so you will need to upgrade your Cisco Eyes version before deploying this integration successfully. So we start our journey from the Meraki dashboard, where we have a set of networks. Today, we will use the network called Roma Transit. And first, uh, we need to make sure that the switching devices that we have in this network support adaptive policy. We support adaptive policy in our Catalyst NT300 switches in Meraki mode, as well as MS390. We also support adaptive policy in MR access points and MX security appliances. The next step is to enable adaptive policy on the desired network. So we move to organization and then adaptive policy. And then we click on networks. As you can see, Adaptive policy is not enabled on the Roma Transit network, so we will go select it and click on Enable. By default, there are no policies or custom ACLs configured, and there are only two security groups which are created by default on the dashboard. We could technically use the dashboard to create groups, policies, and ACLs, but for the purpose of this video, we will use uh, our identity service engine to create policies and groups. So now we are ready to move to the identity service engine where we will log in to the platform. Once we logged in, the next step is to access the work centers to move to the TrustSec section. We will define some groups and some policies to use in our Meraki network. The egress policy uh, metrics defines how the different groups in our policy domain can communicate with each other. In this example, we have already defined some groups and some policies, and uh, let's look at some of them. The development team can access the development servers because we have set a permit IP policy that allows all the IP traffic to pass between these two groups. Other groups, such as the contractors or the employees, cannot access the development servers due to a deny IP policy. And we also have the auditors groups that has a custom policy. This will allow auditors to access only a specific port on the development server. So now, how do we sync all these groups and policies with our Meraki dashboard? We do this through the integration that you will configure under the work centers integrations. As you can see, there is an, uh, another integration with ACI, which is uh, a Cisco product for the data center. The process of enabling this integration is very simple. We click on connect Meraki and we define our connection name. In our case, we call it Meraki Lab. Then we paste our Meraki API's key that I previously generated and we click on connect. Since I am the admin or of more than one organization, uh, it will ask me which organization I want to sync. And in my case, I call it Meraki Lab Italy. We click on next and it will ask me the sync interval, which is the frequency by which ICE will sync with the dashboard. I can go down to five minutes, for example, and then I click on next. In the next step, it will ask me which egress policies, security groups, and custom policies I want to sync to the dashboard. For now, I will skip this step because I want to show you that I can do that in a later time. I click on finish and we are all set. Now the ICE platform and the Meraki dashboard are connected. To select what I want to sync, I can go to the sync selection and just select the egress policies that I want to use in my Meraki dashboard. It will automatically select the security groups and the ACLs that are related to those egress policies. Once I'm sure, I can click on save and then move to the sync status where I can see in real time 
when was the last time that ice synced with a dashboard and I can also force a sync. It takes a few seconds for the sync to complete and once that is done we can uh, uh, go back to the Miraki dashboard and refresh the adaptive policy page. We can see immediately that the security groups that we configured on uh, Cisco ICE have been also synced to the Miraki dashboard. And if we move to the custom ACLs, we can also see that the ACLs have synced. And for example, I have the auditor access custom ACL, as well as the policies that allow the groups to talk to each other. I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for another video where we will see the adaptive policy in action.